All right, so this next video is going to have the best title ever, and it's going to be titled The Only Relaxation Exercise You Will Ever Need, courtesy of James from his book, The New Frontiers of Lucid Dreaming. And so this relaxation technique is crazy simple, and that is simply just a stretch, but um, specifically stretching while you're in bed. So not like doing a short like yoga routine or something before going in bed. You want to do this actually while you're lying down in your general sleeping position. Although I'm sure if you were going to, you know, do a little yoga meditation stretch thing before bed, I'm sure that would only help you fall asleep, right? Help to kind of quiet your mind down, right? That's a lot better than say, you know, watching some really engaging TV show or playing some video game before bed. It's going to stress you out and make you be thinking too much. Uh, so simply um, take a few moments to stretch out all the muscles you can in your body while you're lying in bed. And this includes your face muscles, which was a cool added detail there that, you know, would have just went over my head if you didn't specifically go ahead and call that one out. Um, then also if it's, um, you know, a muscle or a part of your body you can't really stretch too well, you can then um, just engage that muscle, clench it up, and then go ahead and relax and release it um, after that as a way to, you know, kind of relax the body that way. Um, and then also he points out tier two, and this is really probably like the best part about this relaxation technique is that it's all physical. There's no mental aspect and no visualization guesswork, which kind of brings me back to what we were talking about in some of the recent videos where, you know, if you're going to lie down and you're going to be trying to visualize some relaxing scene in your mind as a way to specifically calm you down and relax you for bed because you're actively trying to imagine something in your mind. That's going to keep your mind there for a little bit more awake and therefore make it harder for you to fall asleep, which is also something I've brought up in a bunch in the last couple of videos, but I'll just say it again here really quick is if you're going to be doing my whole hypnagogic meditation thing, uh, you're not going to be actively visualizing anything until those hypnagogic images start coming up visually represented on the ground anyway. And at that point, you can therefore start to, uh, you know, switch your object of attention to watching these, um, you know, these hypnagogic images when they start to come up naturally. Um, so also, this is something that I've been added into my own personal practice here recently. And one of the reasons why I like it is the fact that it's so short and easy to do. And really, I just tend to do it all in like one goal. Just do like, you know, one, put my arms up really high, stretch out, stick my legs out really far, stretch like that, and then go ahead and um, relax out in the bed. So I like it because it only takes, you know, a minute or two, you know, if that. And then after that, of course, I'm going to go back to my typical, typical way I like to fall asleep, which is basically just stay as still as I possibly can, try not to move at all. So of course, before you're gonna start this, get into your ideal, comfortable sleeping position, and then, you know, focus internally. That's just what works for me. Um, a few other things though, that I found that have been working for me really great. I probably started doing this the last year or so, is that I found that I, well, first of all, I like to shower directly before bed. Like unless, you know, I showered like say, maybe an hour or two before going to sleep and the room is AC'd and I'm very not sweaty. Sometimes I'll skip out showering then, but really I like to shower and be as clean as possible directly before going into bed. But what I changed up this past year is I like to do it in a different room, right? So before going to sleep, I'll have my, my bed set up where I know I got the pillows I want there. I got my blanket that I like, right? So my side of the bed is ready for me to come in so I can shower in a different room, like upstairs, brush my teeth in a different room. So when I walk into the bedroom, it is literally directly to the bed. Don't need to turn on any lights to try and find anything. You know, I got my earplugs right by my bed where I want them to be. So I can just go straight to the bed, got everything set up, pop my earplugs in, get to my position, and then just stay perfectly still and then focus internally and, you know, hopefully drift off to sleep relatively quickly. So um, cool uh, relaxation um, exercise tip there. So give it a shot. Very simple. Stretch for a couple minutes while you're in bed and um, get all nice and cozy.